Hello, it is Friday, September 30th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday puzzle today, so it is a themeless puzzle, and maybe a bit of a step up and challenge from uh, what we've solved this week, we'll have to see. Um, but it's from a debut constructor, so let's uh, let's enjoy that. And this debut featuring edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Joseph Schwalbach, Joe Percy, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for bringing us this uh, edition and for their generous support in bringing us this series generally. Thank you so much to them. And if you'd like to join them as a benefactor, uh, you can do that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And if you'd like to become a patron at any level, you'll of course get access to all of the bonus videos that go up on the channel um, each week, as well as the full library that has gone up to date. And that also includes the most recent uh, acrostic solve I've done. I gave up on the... Uh, I attempted to redub over my solve of an acrostic puzzle whose audio had not recorded. And I just didn't really think it was very, it just wasn't really very good as a video. So uh, instead, I just recorded a different acrostic video. It ended up being much more challenging. It took me more than twice as long as the one I lost, which is slightly frustrating. But anyway, that's up on the Patreon channel now, if you're interested in that. That was the acrostic puzzle from August 28th, I think, New York Times, which I just hadn't apparently noticed or, or solved. So uh, did that. And, um, oh, and also I noticed Patreon has just recently enabled a feature that allows me to change the Patreon to, to charge patrons on their subscription date rather than on a, a first of the month basis. So if, if you're already a patron, this won't affect you at all. But if you uh, become a new patron, you will just be charged uh, on the date you sign up and then a month subsequently on a recurring basis or however your subscription works as opposed to so what that means is if you sign up halfway through the month it used to be the case on patreon that you'd be charged again on the first of the month even though you hadn't yet been a patron for a full month and i can understand why that would be frustrating for people and um that has been addressed so anyway just thought i'd mention that uh, thank you to everybody who has backed the patreon campaign at any level i do very much appreciate it and do subscribe to the channel if you have been watching these videos and do recommend them to a friend and do uh, check out the Daily Solve Discord chat server community. There's a link in the description field to that and to the Patreon, of course. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. It's a Friday puzzle. As noted, it was constructed by David Karp, whose uh, debut this is, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what's in store for us. Zip it with up, uh, clam up, or, you know, be quiet, I think is what this means. Uh, but I'm not sure. Blank Luego, Spanish by Hasta Luego, I think. Let's look at the downs and see. Rare find in an idiom. Rare find. Uh, not sure offhand. Winning blackjack hand. Ace-10? I think ace-10 is a winning blackjack hand. And impressive bucket challenge. Impressive bucket challenge. What is that getting at? Look at that incredibly long answer. It spans the entire grid. And there are two, in fact, that do. Two answers that do. Uh, later, alligator. Uh, could simply be ta-ta, say goodbye. And make up. So this could be make up as in comprise something, or it could mean make up as in invent something. I mean, it you know, it could be make up as in what you apply to your face, but I don't think so, because that would likely be... Um, well, no, it, it wouldn't be that as a noun because that would be one word, but it could be that as a verb to make yourself up. Um, not sure. Anyway, brilliance. Eclat, maybe? Brilliance, sort of brilliant with brilliant style. We did it with eclat. Does that help with this? Rare find in an idiom. I don't know. Impressive bucket challenge. Not really sure what's going on there. What about this? Oh, cool. Neato, maybe. So make, oh, <laughs> and look at this, a fourth meaning on which I did not alight. Make up to atone for something, to make up for uh, past mistakes, for instance, to atone for them. There we go. 
Okay, Ensler who created the Vagina Monologues. That's Eve Ensler, the playwright. And um, what about this people? Oh, here's another. This is also a full. Sorry, I didn't realize there are actually six grid spanning answers. So quite a few people person question mark. Right. So that question mark means there's something punny. There's a bit of wordplay going on here. So it won't necessarily mean somebody who's simply extroverted, which I think is ordinarily what you'd mean when you say people person. But let's look at this. Happy now. Um, something like, I don't know, satiated, satiated or something. It won't, I don't think it'll be that, but something that indicates something has occurred to make you happy. You, you haven't just been perpetually happy. But anyway, let's look, let's look up here. Play group, a cast, the cast of a play. Food pronounced in three syllables. It is acai, the official berry of the New York Times crossword puzzle. Um, the acai berry, and, and which has become, probably in the past five years or so, just an incredibly common bit of fill in the crossword. And uh, I do think it's pronounced roughly in that manner with three syllables. Surprising, given it only has four letters. Pen knife, question mark, another bit of wordplay. Not sure about that one. Pen knife. I don't know. Rent. So rent obviously could mean the, the money you pay your landlord, but it could also mean uh, tour in the past tense. So I, you know, I rent that, uh, that rent request in two. I tore it in two. Or, so it could be rent or torn. It could be tore or torn, actually, depending on how we're using the word. Mm, not sure, but let's look at the crosses and see if that works. Uh, symbi symbolo de, uh, dell'infinito, rotated 90 degrees. Okay, I see. Well, so this is referring to obviously the infinity symbol in Spanish, but then it's saying rotated 80 degrees. And um, that would be the letter eight. If you imagine rotating the infinity symbol 90 degrees, you get the letter eight, uh, which is ocho in Spanish. So what is this pen knife? I don't know. Rare comics and vintage dolls, e.g. Collectible something? Collectible toys? I mean, you wouldn't really call comics toys. Collectible... Uh, collectibilia or something? I don't know. I, it's, surely it starts with this. Let's let's, um, let's look at the cross. Oh, actually, let's look at this. This looks gettable, maybe. Well, maybe not for me. <laughs> Colorado NHL team, casually. I don't know. Ah, that was annoying. Show disdain in a way. To, you could scoff at something which would show your disdain in a way. A way of showing disdain. Oh, and then, right, they may throw shade. So it's sort of similar. They may throw shade. Um, now, I'm guessing this is meant to mean create shade from the sun, literally, because the way it's written sounds more like throwing shade as in implying, you know, sort of almost implicitly scoffing at somebody, uh, which makes, and but the fact that it's written that way makes me think it'll mean the other thing. <laughs> Um, especially once you get to Friday, you get a lot of misdirection in, in the cluing. Hawaiian crop threatened by the apple snail. Uh, taro, maybe? I didn't wasn't familiar with that relationship with the apple snail, but it just looks like it fits in four letters. So what is this? Not busy. If you're not busy, you're free. And hold the, I don't know, hold the phone comes to mind, but obviously that's the wrong F sound. We would want a PH for that. Hold the I don't know, hold the floor? I'm not sure. The ties that bind. Cables? Cable ties? The ties that bind. Doesn't really seem quite right. Hold the... Just looking at my keyboard here. Hold the... Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that. They may throw shade. I don't know. And it's they. So you'd think it would be plural, but that looks very odd. Maybe we'll delete both of those. I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm probably missing something fairly obvious right there. Uh, what else can we chain onto here that we've not yet seen? Path. A method or a way or a road or route or... Um, I don't know. River of Song. 
I mean, there's Moon River is a song. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty. River of song. It could be, could be the the a moon referred to in a song or a song title, or it could be, it, I mean, it could be a singer whose name includes river. I don't know. Bill promoting science, right? So this sort of looks like legislation, pro science legislation, but I think in fact it's Bill Nye, the science guy, the. Uh, science educating TV personality. And then a uh, word with catching or popping, catching and catching one's eye or your eye is popping. Is that what this is? I, oh, oh no, it's simpler than that. Eye catching or eye popping. Okay. There we go. Right. So used to refer to something that, you know, draws your attention or something that astonishes you. Okay, good. So what else can we do? Tool for closing a window. Hmm. I mean, it could be, I don't know, sort of a pole or something that you use to close a high up window, or it could be something computer related to closing a window on your desktop. I'm not sure though. Brainwave. Brainwave, an idea. You had a, bra you had a brainwave, you had an, an idea. Is an idea grand enough to be, yeah, I mean, you can get a an idea in a brainwave anyway. I don't know if it is one. Hmm. So I'm not certain about that. Tibia. Is your tibia your shin? I mean, that seems like it's basically in the same place. Is it literally your shin? Um, let's look at this. Blank leg jeans. Not sure. What about these? Activity for some big game hunters. And we have question marks. So something... Yeah, some sort of pun or wordplay here again. Activity for some big game hunter. So it does make it seem like this won't be, you know, I don't know, people hunting lions or something. It seems like it won't be that. Um, but I'm not sure. Ah, frustrating. Add blank. It could be add rep or add rem or add... Uh, what other add things are there? Um, makes a house a home, say. Makes a house a home. Nests, maybe, or something? I don't know, sort of trying to think of something that would mean settling in, but maybe there's a, maybe there's a different sense of what this is. Oh, forever and a day. An eon? No, that doesn't fit. Uh, I mean, it could be just ever, but that would be inside of forever, and I just can't imagine that, that working. Ages, maybe? Just to mean a very long time, colloquially. I mean, that took forever and a day. That took ages. What's funny is that actually adding the a day to it makes it less infinite because it turns it into an idiom, if you see what I mean. Obviously, forever and a day literally doesn't mean anything. Well, I guess you could argue in mathematics there are concepts of infinity plus one. But I mean, you know, in a sort of general sense, forever and a day actually makes it less long lasting because it takes it into the realm of human idiomatic language. And obviously when a, then you imagine someone saying that and when it just a person says that, they don't actually mean literally, actually infinity. They just mean it, it took ages, it took a long time. Um, so that that's why I think maybe it's ages, even though ages sort of at a glance looks shorter than forever and day. Um, makes a house a home. So it does look like nests, doesn't it? Blank leg jeans. Oh, this is This will probably be very annoyingly obvious when I when I get it through crosses. I don't know. Um, this has been a tricky puzzle for me so far. It makes a house a home, so uh, sign of bad service, no tips or something. I don't know. Something to be, or maybe some, maybe service in a tennis sense, tennis serve, don't know. Something to be filed in brief could be something tax related or could be filing a nail or something um, or papers stretches for the rest of us. What does that mean? Tales end often happily ever after. No, too, that was too, too good to be true. Tales end often some kind of moral or something parallel to next to, but it's not, not just that, but it's parallel to is more specific than that. Like the mood fostered by waiting for Gatto. Like the mood fostered. Um, 
I don't know what, like antsy or, or how would you describe that? Um, I don't know. Always. I mean, this one could be ever, but we had that forever earlier. I don't know. Shoes with holes. Shoes with, oh, shoe, sorry, shoe with hole. Oh, croc as in crocs. Those, are they rubber or plastic? What are crocs made out of? Um, they look like they'd be rubber or plastic or something. Name on a truck. A Mack truck is sort of a uh, classic brand of big, you know, large trucks used for hauling and things like that. Garden plant in the mallow family. Oh, not sure. Giggle fest. Not sure about that either. What about this? Funny McKinnon. Well, Kate McKinnon is a comic actor, so there that could be the answer there. And then tails end often parallel to and giggle fest. A riot? That was a total riot, a giggle fest. I mean, riot seems a bit more a bit stronger than um giggle fest, doesn't it? Parallel to. It's akin to, it's parallel to that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, but this could be, if that if that were akin, this could be okra, garden plant in the mallow family. I mean, I don't know, wasn't familiar with that as a member of the mallow family, but it's a, it is a plant. So, so maybe that is riot after all. And then tails end up, oh, so some kind of moral or morality something. Yeah. Performance with a sombrero, some kind of dance. Mexican hat dance? Yeah, it looks plausible with the sombrero. Uh, that, that, these are some useful crosses, potentially. Wild goat with cor curved horns. Oh, an ibex. And to vex is to anger somebody or to rile them, maybe? Rile? That looks plausible. And zip it up. Sorry, zip it with up to maybe just clam up. That was my first thought. What about this? English chip. Oh, maybe not. So, you know, um, here in the UK, you'd refer to what in the US would be referred to as fries as chips, French fries as chips. But this is singular. So what is that? So maybe that's maybe that's misdirection. Hmm. Run down illegally. Echo voice. Is Echo the device that's associated with the Alexa character? I think that probably is. I always forget which of these go with which one, but I think that's I think that's probably right. So maybe this is clam up. That's sort of surprising. Oh, I see. Sorry, I was doing this the other way around. So English, right? So this okay. So this didn't mean in England you'd call a chip. Okay, never mind. I was looking at this wrong. <laughs> what this means was the thing that in the US is called a chip in England is called a crisp. So in this case, we're talking about potato chips or potato crisps. That's that's what was going on here. And I was I was sort of looking at it the other way around. In other words, if you were in England, the thing they call a chip in the US would be called a fry. And so I was just, you know, I guess you could I guess you could arguably read this either way, and I read it the other way. Okay. There we go. So, and, and again, the English just is serving to indicate, in this case, a location. Um, so the location of England, and then more broadly, more broadly the UK. But um, but that that's what that's doing there. So it's just referring to terminology in a different in a in a, in a particular place. Okay, run down illegally. Libel, I see. Right. So if you run someone down in the sense of bad mouthing them. Uh, Doing that in in an illegal manner is the crime known as libel. So there we go. And um, people person. People person. Oh, why can't I see what this is? People person. It's not referring to the magazine people. There's a magazine called People. It's sort of celebrity magazine, I think. But... Yeah, I don't know. What about this? Happy now. Oh, placated. Okay, so say, I was sort of on the right track with satiated. I just didn't didn't arrive at the answer. Um, 
path is, I don't know, <laughs> River of Song. Oh, Swanee River. There we go. There we go. So we had Moon River and Swanee River. I mean, those are kind of both in the kind of, I don't know, sort of classic American uh, songs in a way. Okay. Blank leg jeans. Oh, why? Is it just wide leg jeans? Is it as simple as that? Whoops. Well, I did think it would be, it would seem overly obvious when I got it with the crosses. Activity for some big game hunters. Big game hunters. So is this some kind of high roller thing? Is this a casino thing? High, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's right. Um, makes a house a home. I guess it is nests. So it just means, I guess, metaphorically, nest in, sort of acclimate to the space, make it yours. Oh, Martian day, 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds. Is that a soul? Is that how we refer to that? That sort of sounds familiar. What about this? Something to be filed in brief. I don't know. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Okay, what, what can we do up here? We have more crosses, don't we? Rare find in an idiom. Oh, hen's teeth. Right. That's rare as hen's teeth, you could say. I uh, wasn't thinking of, of that, that whole, I don't know, sort of category of speech, but there we go. Hen's teeth. Great. Okay, impressive bucket challenge. What is it? Oh, this is referring to the magazine. It's the sexiest man alive, which I think is a thing that People Magazine has been sort of declaring for, I don't know, probably decades and decades. Um, so I think that's what that is. And then, oh, never even looked at this one. I probably could have gotten this earlier. Secret spot for a secret plot. Just a fun rhyming clue. And it's a lair. And then a pen knife is a shiv. There we go. So you could, I guess, I guess what this means is sort of, um, if you filed your pen, is, is that kind of what that's getting at? It's, you know, an improvised, an improvised knife, a shiv. Okay, so there we go. And then path is avenue, right, which can be used both literally as a path, you know, an actual street, or, um, you know, an avenue toward to success, a path to success, that kind of thing. So here we have settings for squirrels at times. I guess squirrels could, I don't know, reside or nest maybe even in the eaves of a home. Okay, what is this? Impressive bucket challenge. Oh, slam dunk something? So, right, so this will be bucket as, no wonder I wasn't on track with this. It's bucket as in um, uh, basketball. Sorry, it took me ages. Uh, so slam dunk, I don't know, challenge or something? Well, no, it says challenge in the clue, so it won't be that. I don't know, I'm sorry. Rare comics and vintage dolls. Oh, they're collector's items. Why didn't I get that earlier? Yeah, there we go. Okay, they may throw shade. So if this ends with an S, the ties that bind. Purses, curses? Does a curse bind you? Um, horses are bound, but not really. It doesn't really make any sense here. Uh, very frustrating. What about this? High activity for some big game hunters. High state. Oh, right. Okay, so <laughs> strangely enough, I was on the had the right subject matter with the high roller thing in a casino sense, but uh, but the wrong words. So high stakes poker activity for some big game hunters, people who seek out uh, high stakes gambling. Okay, so hold the what is this form? What is the fours? I do not see this at all. That is incredibly annoying. Hold the fora. Is one of these wrong? Maybe. I'll just delete that. Maybe, maybe I'll just delete that until until we get farther. Chicago's blank center. I don't know. This will be probably a sports arena or performing arts venue. Ad, oh, ad hoc. There we go. There was an ad I didn't think of. Ad hoc. So, you know, formed right now for a particular purpose. Impressive bucket challenge. Slam dunk. Don't know. Chicago's A oh AOL maybe did AOL has AOL sponsored some sort of I mean it seems seems entirely plausible that they would have naming rights to some kind of stadium or, or arena sign of bad service oh. 
was thinking maybe on a phone, and it was you know a few bars or something like that. But I, I don't know. Oh, I'm running out of steam again. Something to be filed in brief. File in a Martian day. File a document. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, I guess that is in brief. I was thinking of something that would be abbreviated with initials, but this is just contracted to a shortened version of the word. So that's probably right. And then the Martian day would be a soul. I mean, that does sound familiar to me. I, it does sound like something I've learned at that one point in my life. What about this? One with a forked tongue. Um, there are snakes with forked tongues. What do other things have forked tongue? Cobra? Moral of the story. Ah, why didn't I think of that earlier for the end of the tale? Like the mood fostered by waiting for Gatto. It's, uh, we'll get back to it. Always, maybe it is ever, even though we had forever earlier in the crossword to mean a similar thing. You might catch this when seated with other people. Not sure. Put up. To put up a monument, for instance, is to erect it. Red wine variety could be a Syrah, maybe. So there's a fruity wine, right? I'm incredibly not wine literate. Rogan, who played the other Steve in 2015's Steve Jobs. Seth Rogan. Must have been. I didn't actually see that, but... Oh, so that would have been Steve Wozniak, right? Okay. Yeah, I could see that, I guess. Um, you might catch this one seated with other people. Oh, catch a movie be seated near other people because that's how films are screened. Uh, mineral used in drywall is mica. Okay, interesting. And stretches for the rest of us. Something time, stretches of times, pastimes. Uh, that doesn't really work. Boston and San Francisco, but not Denver. Right, well, Boston and San Francisco are both port towns. They, they have ports, the port of San Francisco and the Port of Boston. I don't remember what it's called in Boston, but um, uh, but Denver, Denver is not. Denver is in the uh, you know it's it's landlocked. So okay, T the ties that bind. I was still not sure. Sign of bad service and stretches for the rest of us. Okay, not getting anywhere with this. What about these robot made on the Jetsons? Right. This is is it Betty? No, Rosie. Rosie was the robot maid on the on the Jetsons. <laughs> Funny fact, um, in the fictional universe of the Jetsons, um, George Jetson, the central character of the cartoon, was born a few months ago. In other words, his birth date in that world was in 2022, which is a very strange, there's something I just find deeply weird about being aware of that about of that fact. So George Jetson is currently a newborn. Pretentiously creative, artsy maybe? And then Rosa, Tulipan, or Yasmin, I guess? Flor, flowers? In Spanish, I'm, I'm presuming this is. Uh, flowers in Spanish? Yeah, I mean, it looks like rose, tulip, or jasmine. What about this? Oblique, the mood fostered in waiting for Kata. There we go. Okay. That seems plausible. And then, oh, slam dunk contest, the impressive bucket challenge. Ah, right, of course. It was the simplest version of that, and I should have guessed it, but I didn't. Stretches for the rest of us. What does this mean? And religious adherence governed by the Universal House, Universal House of Justice. Is it uh, Baha'is as in Baha the Baha'i faith? Again, as always, I apologize if I'm poorly pronouncing that. Um, so sign of bad service. Maybe this is low bars. That's very odd that it's spelled that way without an indication of, you know, an abbreviation or casual spelling or something. Hmm. What about this? Tool for closing a window. Oh, right. Okay, it is. It is and, and I guess this actually does sometimes apply. It, this is, Often escape is, is, is clued in the New York Times crossword. The escape key on a keyboard, a computer keyboard, is used to indicate, um, you know, quitting a program, which is actually very rare at this point. But, but it, does, it does sometimes work in closing pop-up windows, depending on the, on the, not on the web generally, but sometimes on the web. And often in desktop applications. 
So fair enough. It was actually clued in a manner that I think is reasonable in this case. So I guess that is low bars. That's surprising. The ties that bind are oh, cor a corset, right? So this is this is one of those very misleading clues. I mean, not it's not unfair, I don't think, but it's but it does sort of throw you off because if this is the answer, a corset is a single thing. But of course, the the clue was plural, the ties that bind. But it's because a corset consists of many individual ties. So wow, that's very clever. Okay. They may throw shade. Oaks, oak trees. This does look like far. Oh, hold the fart. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's the final answer for the clue is hold the fart. And no, it wasn't. Oh, or can you believe it? Okay. That's very frustrating. So I have to run through this puzzle. Let's, let's try and do this. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. It's fort. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was an even more appropriate ending. It's Taro, which is what I originally thought this was, but then I think I just overwrote it in my brain. Hold the fort. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> That's the, uh, oh no, it's still not. No, I still have something wrong. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to run through this puzzle. This is what a catastrophe this has been at the end here. So, um, Sexiest man alive, that looks right. Swanee, is that spelled correctly? I think so. Um, Taro, I think at this point is correct. High stakes poker. Um, nap time. Oh, we never look back at this. Stretches for the rest of us nap times. Well, at least I've saved myself a correction tomorrow. Moral of the story, that looks right. Akin. What did I get wrong here? Micah, Kate. Okay, I must have missed something that I that I got wrong. Libel. Mexican hat dance. Ace 10, I think that's right. Slam dunk contest. What on earth? I'm very sorry about this. Collectors items. Rent tour. That's not torn, is it now? Eves. I've never looked back at this either. Colorado NHL team casually AVs or AVs. I mean, are these right? That's definitely Eve Ensler. Yeah, those are all correct. Eye catching, eye popping, oaks. What did I do? It's actually been a while since this happened. Escape key. Oh. This isn't no bars, it's low, sorry. It's not low bars, it's no bars. I was so skeptical about that. So then what is this? Chicago's Aeon Center. Oh, I just don't know it. Okay, that was annoying. I shouldn't have jumped to that AOL conclusion. That was a very poor, yeah. Okay, um, wow, well that was not, that was a, <laughs> not the most impressive ending, I have to say. Um, Sorry about that. That was just a total mess. Um, so what is what did I what this this fort thing and Taro was a complete completely preposterous. This no bars and Aeon that was a mistake. Yeah, I should have. I really should have trusted my instinct around low bars. Uh, that was silly. So what else was what else was tricky? A slam dunk contest held me up for a while. Uh, collectors items. I thought collectible for a while, but no. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, there weren't really individual things in here that were brutally difficult. Um, but yeah, I did find there to be a fair amount of resistance throughout the puzzle. Um, yeah, how did you fare with this one? I, I, I assume very few of you made the same completely ludicrous mistakes that I made that presented the puzzle from validating at the end, but I don't know, who knows? Um, that was just ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to move on. <laughs> uh, I, none of that was the fault of the puzzle. I have to take full responsibility for, for that state of affairs. Anyway, let's now look at a couple of clues from yesterday's puzzle. We have this. This was a good a good catch, and I completely um, this was a complete error on my part. Stephen Giblin says regarding seventeen down, the big band staple, which led to tuba. Uh, Stephen says I think big is meant to refer to the size of a tuba in, for instance, a marching band, and not meant to refer to a big band. 
While a big band does include brass instruments, I don't think many, if any, include a tuba. Yes, you're absolutely right. If I'd have thought of that for more than about two seconds, it would have occurred to me that tuba is not in fact a staple of big band, but it is in a certain kinds of bands, as you say, for instance, a marching band, and it is a big instrument, and that's what was being referred to there. So I, um, that was completely wrong. I mean, there probably are, there probably are big bands with tubas in them, but you're, you're right. It's, it's not at all a standard brass instrument in a big band and probably extremely rare. And Kathleen Quinn points out, Joni Loves Chachi was an American sitcom television series and a spinoff of Happy Days that aired on ABC from March 23, 1982 to March 24th, 1983. So that explains, I guess, why I'd heard the phrase Joni Loves Chachi, Joni Loves Chachi, although the fact that it seemingly only ran for uh, one year is, is probably also explains why I've maybe heard the phrase, but never seen the program. So it must not have been any kind of huge success. And uh, that was all I had, actually. I might have missed might have missed some things. I was sort of grabbing those in a rush this morning. But anyway, uh, that's that for today's video, for yesterday's clues, and for um, today's solve, of course. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday crossword. Could be trickier than this one. So hopefully I don't give myself as many trip ups. <laughs> hopefully I don't trip myself up as much as I did today because I'm not gonna, it's not what I need on a Saturday puzzle. I need to give myself all the help I can get. So I hope you'll join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.